good. Hi, kitties. It's your old fat pal, Kip. Hey, I got a weird one for you. So, um, uh, uh, this one isn't my video, but it is a, a fella, a, a guy named uh, Pine Hollow Auto Diagnostics. This guy is my spirit animal. We had a van come in here that had a problem that was beyond me, and I'm the first one to admit when I am stumped, uh, and I am, and I, and I reach out for help, and I, and I curse at the heavens, and so on. And so, in working with this other company who is an auto diagnostician or auto diagnostics. This is something I'm forced to tell people about when they break down 2000 miles from me or whatever, is that when they get to a shop and the shop doesn't know what it is and they get bounced around at different shops, what you really need is somebody called an auto diagnostician, which is a discipline unto itself and, and, a, and a highly valuable skill because fixing these vans is easy. It's knowing what to fix where the, where the rocket science is. Anyway, Ivan is such a person and, uh, and, and as such, he is, he, as a diagnostician, he works for generally for other shops, figuring out the problems they can't figuring out, but not fixing them, just giving them a recommendation and, uh, uh, a guaranteed recommendation. That's very exciting. Anyway, auto diagnostics is the whole thing. And I'm just going to point you to a link for a two part video on this particular van. Ivan came all the way here from Pennsylvania and, and did the stuff with the technical and the thing that, that I am admittedly not expert enough in or um, well-versed enough in to do. And the, the whole story has a happy ending. I'm going to cut to the chase um, because it's pertinent and it's, you know, 40 minutes of very technical video uh, that you may not watch. But the important point is what caused the problem on this van, we think, is it had a completely blocked cowl drain tube, that tube that hangs off uh, over by the heater core hoses on the, on the slightly to the driver's side under the hood, under your cowl. And with that plugged with leaves and sticks, it's at the very end of Ivan's second video, but it's not very clear. But when that was plugged, 100% of the water coming off the, off the windshield of this van was forced to sit in the cowl and go someplace, and it actually made paths on its way to flooding the computer itself, which turned out to be very difficult to diagnose, and I would never have been able to... To, to confidently diagnose that without Ivan's help because who, who, who's ever heard of an intermittent computer? Computer tends, they tend to work or they don't. And also I was um, blinded by my own biases because we've never had to replace an engine computer on a ProMaster. It's a, it's, a, it's a thing, it either works or it doesn't and they just don't go bad. So that bias on my part kept pushing me away from the diagnosis that eventually fixed the problem. Uh, but I'm going to use this as an opportunity to encourage you to go out anytime, every couple of months or so, take a piece of wire or a coat hanger or whatever, and, and make sure, pop that hose off and make sure it's not blocked. Because if it is, I suppose in the extreme, you will have this problem. And that's all I got to say. I encourage you to watch Ivan's videos. Great channel. I learn. I like to learn. I like to learn. You like to learn. Learn with Ivan. Uh, good stuff. Really enjoy it. Nice guy, too. And there we go. Love you. Bye. He's a goddamn lovely man.